Joni Mabe, welcome to Rock My Collection. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for having me. Am I saying your name right? Joni Mabe? You got it. Joni Mabe, the Elvis babe. <laughs> I like where this is going so far. That's appropriate. Yeah. Definitely. Joni Mabe, the Elvis babe, what do you do for a living? Well, I own and operate the Loudermilk Boarding House Museum, and it features everything Elvis that I've collected over 40 years. How many items do you think you actually have in your collection? It's estimated 30,000 items. Wow. Pretty moderate collection. Yeah, pretty moderate. Elvis, right? Yeah, yes, yes. pretty moderate, yeah. I'd love to know what, uh, what you have to share with us today. OK, well, out of my 30,000 Elvis items, my favorite thing and most valuable thing is an Elvis wart that was removed from his right wrist before he went into the Army in 57. I, I want to make sure that I'm uh, understanding this. Your most valuable and prized possession is one of his warts? Yes. How do you know it's a real wart from Elvis? What's the story? Did you, did you get it from the doctor that operated on him? Yes. The doctor was willing to give it to you or to sell it to you? Yes. What? He was willing to sell it, and he kept it instead of sending it off for a biopsy. I just took a chance that this was for real, and I started looking at pictures, and I was like, there it is. There's the wart. So, I mean, it's got to be real. It's, you know, truth is stranger than fiction sometimes. What did you pay for this Elvis wart? I'd rather not say. I've been offered a million dollars for it twice. And um, and you didn't take it. You yeah, didn't yeah. take the offer. No. I, I need I need to see it one more time. <laughs> Hi, little wart here. Wart, 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 wart. Oh, oh, aren't you a cute little wart? <laughs> That's a special wart. Uh, Joni, do you have um, any other <laughs> kinds of items? Well, I do. I have the Maybe Elvis toenail clipping <laughs> that I found in 1983 in the shag carpet in the jungle room at Graceland. I wanted to touch where Elvis had walked, and I just skimmed my hand along the green shag carpet when no one was in the room. And I thought maybe it was a rhinestone or a sequin off one of his jumpsuits, okay. but I got outside and looked at it, and it was a toenail clipping. Yeah. And I call it the Maybe Elvis toenail, because I'm not 100% sure it's his, but who else will be clipping their toenails in the jungle room? Yeah, you know, you make, you make a great point. <laughs> Hell yeah, who else, really? I mean, there's no way that that could be a, a, I don't know, a piece of pasta. You're a master appraiser. Stephen Brayman, ASA. What would you <laughs> appraise the toenail clipping? Given that it's just assumed or supposed to mm -hmm. be a toenail by Elvis. Yeah. I love the way she's displayed it. That's a really, really cute diorama there. And so that's worth 50 to to $100, I would think. Easy, sure. Steven, uh, you know, include the value of this toenail. But really, I'm interested in how much is Elvis's wart, the king of all warts? How much is it worth? I think this is the most difficult appraisal assignment I have ever had. It's certainly- Dif Difficult or disgusting? It dis I well, both, you know. You said yourself, one million, two million dollars would not be enough. Right. That's a good indication. We call that fair market value in appraisal. What are two people who mutually agree to buy and to sell something? Well, you would not mutually agree to buy or sell that at that price. So without any other comparables, without things that are similar, we would have to say it's possibly one to $2 million in value. I honestly believe it's his wars. You know, nobody was going around. There were no wart impersonators or anything. Yeah. And it was just too, too bizarre for me not to take a chance on buying. I'm flummoxed. You know, I, I don't know if we've helped you out, but I do know that you've made me sick. Well, that's good, <laughs> right? Thank you so much for coming on Rock My Collection. One of the weirdest and best personalities we've had on this show. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.